Hi, I'm Alex Morris. I'm Brielle Turton. My name is Pip Edwards. And welcome to Chefs in the Raw. The show where we bring together leading chefs and health professionals to share their passion for plant-based foods. Hey guys, I'm Brielle and Turton and this is Chefs in the Raw, the cooking show that brings together leading chefs and health professionals to share their passion for plant-based foods. Today, I'm at Cafe Nowa in Petersham, Sydney. They boast a 100% plant-based menu of modern Australian and a touch of Nepalese. They're famous for their dumplings and curry rice, so let's go see what all the fuss is about. Alright guys, I'm here in the kitchens with one of the chefs and owners here. This is Ardit. Man, Hello. we're making some Momo today. Yep, we are making some Momo today. Talk to me about Momo, it sounds so, awesome. So Momo's is basically like the South Asian dumplings. Mm. Uh, it's pastry with different fillings in it, so you can put different varieties of fillings to it. So it can be done in different ways like steam or you can even fry it, pan fry it. So there's a different way of doing it. Yeah. So you can use a lot of spices to it. Yum. So which one are we making today? today? So today we're doing a plan base, which is mushroom and tofu base. That's our major ingredient for mushroom today. And yeah, tofu. that's mushroom and tofu. Yeah. Yum. So real good depth of flavor. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm really excited. When would you have this dish? Uh, you can have it at any time. Uh, you can consume it on lunch or dinner. Yeah. But even for breakfast, like always, you can have it. Dumplings for breakfast sounds awesome, yeah. man. Look, I can't wait to make it. What's the first step? All right, so we are slicing up some mushrooms. Okay, you want me to do that? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you relax, chef. I'll get <laughs> no. to work. Yeah, for sure. As usual, <laughs> always. It's about like 10, 15. 10, 15 yeah. mushrooms? Yeah. Okay. So and how do you want them chopped? Uh, just slice them, like a rough slice. Yeah. Sliced up? Yeah. No worries. And who taught you to cook? Obviously, mum. Yeah. Started as a mum. So, yeah. Awesome, man. So you're making dumplings with your mum Sunday morning. Yeah. That sounds fun. Enjoying it together with the family. Yeah, it's good. Epic, man. All right, so I've chopped up all these mushrooms. Is that going to be enough for you? Sweet. All right, so what else do we have in this dish? So, we've got the mushrooms. Yeah, we've got tofu as well. So we've got the tofu. Nice. And do you we've use got... a particular kind, like fur? Oh, it's a soft, yeah. It's a, a soft, soft tofu. tofu. Yeah, okay, yeah. soft tofu. Yeah. So we've got the onions chopped, finely really, chopped. Really yeah. finely chopped onions. Yeah. Good. We're using some garlic and uh, ginger as well, so we just grate them. Yeah, and so you use the fresh ginger, yeah, not we do the, use the fresh, uh, not, the, not the paste. Okay. Uh, buy it in the supermarket. Man. Awesome, man. And we got some fresh herbs like the parsley, we have fine chopped it. Yep. We got some shallots as well. Parsley and shallots, yep. and then there's some coriander here as well. Yeah, that's for the garnish. Just for garnish. Yeah. Okay, man, it sounds like it's going to be really tasty, so we're going to cook this up now? Yep, we are going to cook it up. Now. All right, well, let's go over to the, to the stoves and do it. All right, we're over at the stoves. We're ready to make some Momo filling. I can't wait to do it. So, uh, man, what's the first step, Chef? Uh, so we heat up the pan first. Just heat up the pan a little bit. Okay. And then we're gonna add a little bit of oil to it. So it's just a normal oil. Just like a vegetable oil? Yeah, just a normal vegetable oil. Yeah, so Just sweet. a little bit. So it's so kind of like a, a quick dish, or is it? Yeah, it is, it is. But uh, the thing is, after we cook it, we need to settle it down for a little while, so it makes time to, like, before. Before you make the dumplings, yes, make the actual so dumplings. it has yeah. to be cool. Cool, yep. Otherwise, what happens? Uh, so if it's hot, like the thing is, you need to hold by your hands. It's very tough. Oh right, roll it, we so, don't burn yeah, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, okay, the awesome, awesome. So, so oil is hot. Yep, the oil is hot. So we just add some chopped onions. Yeah, awesome. So we're doing a small batch, so just uh, two okay. tablespoons. Yeah. Two tablespoons of onion. Yep. So we just want to brown, caramelize a little bit the onion. So you do so want some roll. color, yeah? yeah? Just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. Yep. So a bit of color on these. So once you get a bit of color in it, we're gonna add the ginger and the garlic. Okay. So we're just gonna use the grater for this. So yeah, easy. Kind of grate. grate it straight in. Grate it straight in. It's a good so tip. I'm, I'm not gonna. Use, yeah, yeah. Not very good with a knife, you know. Use yeah, the grater. Yeah, use the grater. Epic. So what? Two cloves of garlic. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it off from the heat. Yeah, for chef. It's all good. It's your chef fingers, it's okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use two cloves of the garlic. Yeah. You can always make a paste out of it and use it. So it you make your own yeah. paste? Yeah, you can always do that, it's handy. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. But this is slow cooking yeah. though, so this is, let it take its time. Yeah, it's a little oh, bit. Oh, as soon as that garlic it. hits the pan, man, it smells so good. Just, uh, just the smell seconds. of curry starting to happen. Toss for like a few seconds, yeah. So the raw flavor goes out. Okay. 
So after this, we're gonna add the whole mushrooms to it. So the ones you sliced before, you're gonna beautifully sliced put it mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. So tip it all in. Awesome. And how many people are we cooking for here? Uh, probably it's gonna make like 10, 10, 12 dumplings. 10 little dumplings. Okay, yeah, cool. 10, 12. So okay, it's gonna so be good for two people. people. Yeah, two people. Yeah, it's beautiful. So you can even have it as an entree before your big meal. Yeah, so, entree, yeah. main course. I think I would like yeah. to have 10 for myself. So talk to me, what spices do you have over here ready to go in? So we've got a few dry spices over here. We've got the momo masala. So the momo, momo mas masala. So okay. yeah, it's a mixture of different spices. So that's mm -hmm. like, a, like a like a curry powder? Yeah, uh, it's close to curry powder, but it's got different, uh, mm. different other spices to it. Okay, but that's your secret, right? You can't yeah, tell us? No. <laughs> we'll find out. And then what else is this? And that's cumin. Cumin and so coriander? Gonna, yeah, coriander. So it's going to use a slight little bit of it. Get the extra flavor to it. Yeah. Excellent. So there's not too much chili. It's just a bit of uh, nah. Warmth. The spices itself it will like make it a little bit spicy and make it a little bit hot. Yeah. So I don't want to use chili so that like. Okay. Because we usually have dumplings with the chutneys and also you can either make the chutneys a little bit like spicy. Yeah, so yeah. So that you want spicy. Awesome. Or you can make it mild, whatever you like. So it seems like a really cool dish. Like you can really yeah. make make your own version. Very versatile. Be very creative yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah, lovely, lovely. So you're getting some good color on the mushrooms. Yeah, I just want to get a little bit more color to it. Break them down grams. a bit. Yep, yep. Lovely, man. I'm Great. gonna add all the spices to it. Use a little bit of momo masala, like I told you. The momo masala. Yeah, What's a teaspoon? Yeah, teaspoon. Just a little okay. teaspoon. Okay. Cumin a little bit, just a pinch. And a little bit of pico coriander. Yes. So we're gonna toss this for a little bit so that the raw flavor goes off. Yep. Just a little bit, like 30 seconds. Okay. Toast the spices. Yeah. That makes them sort of come come yeah. alive. Yeah. Yeah. It binds together. Mm. The raw flavor to it goes off. So. Awesome. I mean, like Nepalese food, I don't know much about it, but it yeah. seems like the spices are very important. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Spices awesome. are the most important thing in the like in curries, mm. lentils, everything. So it's very important. Yeah, I mean, okay, the gloves are going on. Yeah, that means something to, exciting. Yeah, no, I just want to scramble some of the tofu's. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so we're using about two tofu's. Okay. So you're yeah. breaking that up by hand? Yep. Yeah. And just little chunks, the same size as the mushroom. Beautiful. That's all we got to use. I time. love scrambled tofu in the morning. You know, yeah, like egg, like in a taco, kind of like scrambled eggs. Yeah, we do eggs. have it in our menu as well, so scrambled tofu and toast. Oh, yum. Yeah. yeah. So you do breakfast as well here, yeah, yeah? Yeah, we do breakfast as well. So, yeah, just cook it for a little while, a little bit more, so that everything oh. binds together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting excited with this yeah. one. So you're going to teach Definitely. me to make them? Yeah, of course. And you're going to be patient with me? Cause, yeah, uh, I will. I will yeah. I'm, a, I'm a bit of a hack. Alright, so we're back. We got our mushroom yep. mixture cooled down. A few more processes, then we're gonna make some momo. Yeah, that's okay. the tricky part. So we're just gonna add some parsley, a little bit of parsley. Chopped parsley. Yeah, a little bit of shallots to it before. Okay. Making it so just bind it together. Yep, yep. And Beautiful. the most trickiest part is coming the tricky up. Tricky part. So you wanna now. try it as well, yeah? I wanna try. I'm a yeah. bit nervous. I've uh, made pasta in the in the past. With yeah. Dumplings. I don't know. So talk to me about the wrapper. All right, this is our pastry. It's made of flour, the plain flour and yep. water, a little bit of salt, so make a dough out of it. Wow, so you so make it, this all here, man. Yeah, so it's all made in the same shapes, so you use the one, same stencils. So. Awesome, okay, well, let's let's have a go. You show me one, and then I'll, uh, all right, so then I'll we'll, ruin one So we're using a teaspoon just to make equal standard, like everything is the same size. Okay. So a little bit of water. And we've got our pastry, so we're just going to put the water on the borderline so that we can stick it together. Yeah. Yep, so just put the water on the borderline, and we can put it in the middle as well. Yep, so one full teaspoon. So you can do it this in different shapes. I'm just going to do a round one for you. Okay. So this is the round one. So basically, yeah, just put that amount. Yeah. And what you're going to do is pinch it. Yeah. So we're going to go pinch it all the way around. So what you want to do is pinch it, pinch oh, it, wow. pinch it, pinch it. I'm gonna struggle with this. Pinch it, and you take everything together and you twist it at the end. Look how pretty that is! So that's one. Dude! So that's one shape, yeah. That is so beautiful. And you make a lot of these. Yeah, we do a lot. Okay, alright. So you wanna try one? I'm gonna try one. 
So water around the side? Yeah, you can put it in the middle as well. So just make it soft here. Yeah. Make it soft. Yeah, so that it can stick together. Okay, so teaspoon in my left hand. Yeah, a bit more. A bit more? Yeah, yeah. You okay. don't want to put too much so that it doesn't wrap properly. Okay. Not less so that it's too doughy. Okay, so pinch here? Yeah, pinch in there. And then you need to use the middle finger. <laughs> so just with the middle finger you take it, yeah, you pinch it together. No, you pinch it together. Yeah. So I'll show you one as well. I'll do it together. Oh no. So oh no. Do, yeah, yeah. Try okay, it. okay, okay. Alright, so we pinch it. Yeah. And then we pinch it together. Okay. Pinch every single together. So we take that, pinch it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Pinch it, take that, pinch it. Take sure, that. I get it. <laughs> oh no. Hide it. Okay, okay. Right. The, the good news is, yeah. I'm only going to do one. Yeah, no, no, not too bad. Yeah, not not too, too bad it's yeah. not like the worst dumpling in the world. Yeah, you know, yeah. like maybe that, for the first attempt. Yeah, that's a that's a taster. That's like a, a chef a chef's dumpling. Yeah. So um, you think you'll give me a, a job anytime? Yeah, of course. Yeah. A bit more practice. Than <laughs> <full time. laughs> okay, so we'll put that one behind yours. I'm gonna get too excited. So what do we do with these now? So now we're gonna steam it. We're gonna steam them. Yeah. We're gonna throw yeah. mine away. Yeah. And go to the kitchen. All right. Okay. Well, let's do that, man, because I cannot wait to eat these. All right, no, let's no, try it. Okay. Yeah. See you in the kitchen. Oh, hey, Bree. Hey, guys. You've been Hello. busy in here. What have you got for me? Well, Arda and I have prepared some, yeah, some mushroom and tofu momo. <laughs> Yum, they look amazing. And they're actually perfect, so I can only assume you didn't do this and it was all Arda. Would that be right? Uh, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and taste one if that's okay with you guys. Yeah. They no look problem. amazing. Oh, what's do. this on the bottom here? Is that a chutney or something? Yeah, that's the classic Nepalese tomato and sesame chutney with some herbs, spices, <laughs> a little bit of turmeric, coriander, chili. Yeah. Amazing. I'm going to get stuck in. <laughs> so you actually make uh, dumpling classes here at the restaurant, yeah? Yeah, we do a little bit of classes as well, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to need a few of them in the future. Yeah, not a problem. How was it, Bree? <laughs> that was sensational. I, yeah, I could eat those every day. If you'd like the recipe for Ardit's mushroom momo dumplings, head to chefsintheraw.com.au. Guys, cheers. Oh, yeah. Momo. Cheers. cheers. <laughs>